Hello, welcome again to my other video tutorial with me, Christopher Thomas. And this day, I'm gonna show you another video tutorial which talk about the Pro Show Producer 4. The Pro Show Producer 4 is an application that you can create, customize your own slideshow presentation, whether it is video or a photo, animation of a photo. Now. I've been using the ProShow producer for about uh, a year or two years ago and I have been using it for my presentation in my school and my projects and others. So for me, I'm going to show you the, actually this is the, the second tutorial that I have made. I have created the first tutorial which is called the basic animation and then this time I'm going to show you how to put caption on your slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my ProShow producer, and once I've, once you've done open your ProShow producer, and take note that you can download it on the internet and or maybe buy it because if you, if not, uh, you will have a um, you will have a trial version of this application. So you have to buy it fully and license. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one and simply drag it over here the first slide so that it will automatically load up and you can see here the preview and then after that just simply double click and it will automatically go the slide option dialog box and this contains the settings of your animation of your first slide and before putting this is one thing that you can you you need to remember before putting a caption on your slide you have to animate first the photo after you, after that you can now be able to put caption because if you put caption first then the animation what will happen is when you are going to put or you when you're going to animate especially if you're going to apply a styles on your photo the caption will go back to the default the effects or the animation will uh, will will lost will gone so one thing that you need to remember is to put first the animation of your picture then after that put some caption on it so I'm gonna go ahead and find my style over here I'm gonna choose the blow, blow out, yeah, blow out cascade too. This one. Uh, this is applicable for one picture, one layer. So I have here a one layer also that is represent this blue, meaning applicable. The other one is not because it, this one, the the bulletin, uh, the bulletin board needs a three layer, so that's not applicable for our image over here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this blowout over here and you can see the preview of the blowout. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and click OK. And once you've done that, you can see the preview, something like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to caption. And this is the time that you can now be able to put your caption on this slide. So I'm gonna go ahead, my graduation, I'm gonna type typing in my graduation graduation take note that you that you can only put caption over here you cannot typing in here but you can modify it here so as you can see here it automatically shows up my graduation and over here there are some setting the text effect now the text effects talks about how you animate your text in entrance and as well as the exit so the fly in talks about the entrance of your text so we're gonna go ahead and click this browse over here to find uh, to find animation for the entrance for example the curling the left something like that so for this I'm gonna choose the curling so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply as you can see here in the fly in we are now putting the curling in the normal also this talk about when your text is in the slide already so what will be the 
the behavior of your text. It could either be the shaking, the pause, pause right, spacing in or spacing out. So for me, I'm going to choose the spacing out for this time. I'm going to go ahead and click apply and also the fly out. What will be your text in flying out? Fatal, fatal random. I'm going to go ahead and click apply and that's it. We are now setting up the animation, the entrance and the exit of our text. Now as you can see here, there is a pop-up menu over here. If you are familiar with the effect, you just simply click over here and choose your effect. This is the other option, inputting effects on your text. If you are, if you just only familiar with the effects. Okay, and the lower part portion, we have here also the caption placement as well. So we have here the the left align, the center align, the right align, and as well as the feel align. So for me, I'm going to choose the center align over here, and it will automatically go to center, in the position, the X and Y axis, and also here the opacity, how opaque your graduation picture. You can simply play over that and it will correspond the uh, the the value so i'm going to go ahead and click um, move it to zero the character rotation i'm going to go ahead and make it zero also the spacing so that's it i'm going to go ahead and mo make it uh, something like no uh something like that and then the line spa spacing okay now next is um, later on we're gonna talk about the use texture on caption and caption inter uh, interactively so let's leave that for now <coughs> what I'm gonna show you is just the basic uh, and animate uh, and animating your caption next will be the caption motion over here or uh, the caption motion is what we call how you 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 animate your your caption from the first preview to the end preview so this is the start the starting preview and then the ending preview so as you can see here the text is still in the same position so if i'm gonna go ahead and drag my ending position down over here and this is the starting position of my graduation text if you're gonna go ahead and play click the play button that will that will be the look starting from this one over here down to here so you can also add effect by such as simply uh, making it more bigger and as you can see here the font size also changes over here from 8 uh, from 28.5 size down to 18.39 so if I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button so that will be the effects now playing with the starting position and the ending position over here so we have here the rotation so if you're gonna go ahead and click uh, and modify this rotation over here something like that to negative 55 what will happen is that will be the result from this one down to from starting preview to the ending preview as well as the other also effect over here this the character the skew you can play all of this and uh, explore okay now let's talk about the timeline what will be the 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 the, the duration of time play in your first slide so you can see uh, on the very low part of the dialog box you can see here the total time it is called the 6.0 .0 seconds you can simply modifying it by clicking that one and it will automatically shows up the slide time is just only six but as you can see here the total slide duration turns into six seconds why why it is bucket just six seconds while the time slide is just three because the transition out is just three also so meaning if you total it it will go up into six seconds why not the transition make it one kasi ang tagal eh. transition 
by the way I'm gonna go ahead and roll back the into tree I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel and as you can see here on the lower part this is the slide time and this is the transition time three so it w that will make the slide show six seconds uh, all so I'm gonna go ahead and modify the transition out to one so as you can see here the time the total uh, slide duration is now four seconds I'm gonna go ahead and click up OK so that's how fast the transition of our image from one slide to the second slide one second lang kanyang ano duration so for me I the slide is quite more faster so I'm gonna go ahead and modify the time instead of three I'm gonna make it six second I'm gonna go ahead and click apply I mean OK and just simply doing something like that dramatically animate so that's how you put caption on your slide and go ahead and click OK and do the other things in the other slide so that's it for now and I hope you learned something from my tutorial and thank you for watching this is Christopher Tormes see you again in another video tutorial